And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trundle Braum, one of my favorite decks. Uh, this is one that we played right before the new expansion came out and I really enjoyed it and I wanted to get back to it. And so we're going to try to see how it works in this new metagame with Aurelia Azir everywhere. Um, so a couple of changes that we made to it, or I guess let's kind of talk about the deck first. So it's it's going to be a deck based on the regeneration champions with Braum and Trundle. They both have regeneration and playing those with troll gifts, having troll gifts just be a two mana burst speed grant plus two plus two is very, very powerful with those two champions. And I feel like against Aurelia Azir, with a lot of people playing that deck and attacking with all these sand soldiers and blade dancing and stuff, maybe regeneration is not a bad keyword to have access to. And Braum seems like a pretty good challenger, or sorry, champion that can just kind of take a lot of damage. You know, maybe, you know, with them attacking over and over, it can level up, start making Mighty Poros each time they attack. And so I can just have more blockers with the Mighty Poros and stuff. I don't know, it could work out. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, the other thing that's really cool that I love about this deck that I have at the top end, and this is, you know, maybe a little bit more spicy than good, but it's just cards that I love. I love Siphoning Strikes. We got two, we got three Siphoning Strikes in here. It's not always easy to actually kill a unit, in, but if you do, you get to grant your allied champions everywhere plus two, plus two. And with these being these regeneration champions, again, granting them plus two, plus two is really, uh, really strong. But then, of course, that's going to be really strong with the Howling Abyss that can create random level two champions for us. And so those level two champions can also have plus two, plus two. You know, again, maybe a little more cute, maybe a little more spicy, but, you know, let's do it. <laughs> We're going to try it out in ranked. Hopefully it works. But yeah, that's that's kind of where our deck's all built around. Got a couple of Battle Furies to help finish out games with a leveled up Trundle with Overwhelm or the Scar Maiden Reaver with the Overwhelm and Regeneration Battle Fury on that. Or also just Battle Fury on Braum can be amazing. And then Braum can just start ch challenging everything <laughs> with the Battle Fury. That's really cool too. Uh, let's see, what else? But besides that, um, some Avalanches. That should be pretty good. We're, new, new changes we made with Aurelia Azir in mind. We're playing an Ice Shard with all their attacking for one over the second quicksand. And it may, while we play these games, maybe we'll see that we just want two ice shards and zero quicksand. We'll have to see. But then the two drop spot. Um, we had um, Avros and Sentry before, and I really like Avros and Sentry. I think Avros and Sentry was pretty awesome with the last breath draw card. But we're gonna try Starless here instead because if people are attacking with a bunch of one ones, playing a two one just doesn't really block against one ones. And so this just doesn't, you know, so, yeah. So I wanted to replace this since it doesn't block very well and just play Starlet Seer. And so I, there's different two drops to play. Um, like, Cro first thought was like Chronomancer that, you know, could be a 2-3 that would get you the Predict instead of that. But Predict's not very good with Omenhawk. Because if you go turn one Omenhawk, give the plus one, plus one to two things, and then you play Chronomancer on two and Predict, well, then you just shuffle those cards away. <laughs> so that just, that doesn't work. Um, so we're playing Starlet Seer. We're not really focused on um, proactively playing a bunch of spells, but our deck does have 21 spells in it, and it has a lot of combat spells. And if you know, and so like if Starlet Seer can just give like a plus one plus one or a plus two plus two to any of these like champions, you know, to like Braum or Trundle or something, it's gonna you know it's gonna make those cards even more powerful. So we'll just play some Starlet Seers in here. That's another card that I enjoy. So these are a lot of cards that I really like: Starlet Seer, Braum. Uh, Siphoning Strike, Howling Abyss, cards that I think are, are real fun to play, Omen Hawk. So we'll see if they uh, if they can get us some wins. All right, so let's go play our five games in ranked with Trundle Braum. Time. Ooh, Zoe Victor Vi. Okay, so we got the Braum to start off with. Ice Shard. I could actually keep Ice Shard. It's good with Braum, but then it's also a way for me to stop Zoe. Now, please don't have turn one Zoe, right? Because we can't stop turn one Zoe. Starlet Seer, cool. Pass, pass. Yeah. Good pass, good pass. Go get him, Starlet Seer. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Vermin. So ordinary. This does allow them to Mystic Shot to kill Starlet Seer now, but of course now we can Ice Shard to kill Ballistic Bot. Ah, 
Let's go, Ice Shard. Okay, we'll take it. So we don't get the plus one plus one with the Starless here. But we are trading two for two. Um, there are two cards. You know, one was a champion. Ballistic Bot, super powerful also. So I feel like this was just an overall pretty good two for two trade. I should probably just be playing Braum to begin with there. Lifesteal? That's fine. I don't really care about lifesteal. So my plan is to, you know, take Heart the Braum. This would be a good winter. Wish I had one more mana for this siphoning strike. I guess I'll have to just wait. It is easy, see? Metal is perfection. Ooh, that could be good. Yes, of course. That could be good. Electroplating complete. Overwhelm. Why am I passing? Vi stands for vicious. That's why I'm passing. I guess that's not a very good play against Hush. Flash freeze. I don't know. It levels that up. But I also may need to keep this flash freeze to protect Braum. We're in kind of a tough spot. Yeah, I guess I have to keep it to, to protect Braum. They probably only have one Vi, right? Zoe, Victor, Vi. Probably three Zoe, two Victor, one Vi. And so... Even though this Vi levels up, they're not going to have another... It's not like a future Vi gets leveled up. Okay. Well, that's interesting. A plus four, plus four Braum. Nine out of ten. Let's make some champions. I don't think it's worth playing the Avalanche. Of course, we, we did Siphoning Strike, so these champions are getting plus two, plus two. So, <laughs> what's up, 8-8 Gangplank? Flash freeze anymore. Sweet. Let's go. Alright, so that doesn't break up the powder keg. 
<laughs> See, like, this is sweet. See, this is good Legends of Runeterra right here. Like, this is what Legends of Runeterra is all about. This is more fun than your Celestials and your Targon. <laughs> oh, if only Braum had one more power, he could go to 7-Eleven. Mystical levitation requires concentration. So, Bench of the Stones can challenge the Powder Keg. Okay, they're going to challenge over there. Uh, mm. Is it even worth killing that thing? Probably not. It's going to die anyway to my Gangplank attack. What else we got? Diana? Diana's pretty good. <laughs> Another Siphoning Strike? Oh, that's silly. Hey, what's up, Monkey Storm? That's lame. <laughs> Every round, we're going to just get a ridiculous champion. Like, even Diana. Like, there's not many ch champions that are smaller than Diana, and Diana's a 9-7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right, that'll do. See, I could play this deck all day. <laughs> I really could. Just for games like that. Oh, we got kind of a similar matchup, I guess, with Vi. This one's going to be with Heimer. Mulligan, Mulligan... Send them all back. Let's get some Omen Hawks. There are definitely times that this deck doesn't have like anything to do the first three rounds. It doesn't always work out as well as that last game. Yeah, maybe this quicksand should be Ice Shard. This would be another matchup where Ice Shard would be better with Heimer making some techs. Yeah, so Ice Shard definitely looking good. <clears throat> so, Ice Shard was great last game for us, too. Does six damage. All right, so Brom survives six damage. Not bad. <laughs> Big flexi move. Brom seems like he can big flex. Uh, I was expecting them to play Heimer. I wanted them to play Heimer, then I play Siphoning Strike. Don't have anything else to play and keep up siphoning strike, unfortunately. King of Trolls, Don't play Heimer, play something else, or just pass. Yay! What seems to be the problem? I would say you are the problem, Heimer. So they have deny, I have deny back. I 
And I'll just get rid of a mana gem, I suppose. <laughs> Can't touch this. Okay, you got me. 15. You just kill unit. I mean, they're at 8, though. Oh, that's true, though. Now I don't get Ice Pillar because I got rid of Mana Gem. I suppose Ice Pillar is a thing. Alright, yeah. Should have just killed the unit. Uh, I'll just let that happen and replay it. It's no big deal. Okay, so quicksand should be. Oh. The sweet smell of science. So we're thinking quicksand should probably just be another um, ice shard. It's good to be the king. They're doing that to be able to get the 5-1. I was going to get rid of this Heimer so they don't get the 5-1 and I'll be like attacking for lethal the next round with this Heimer not there. They could possibly have to keep me from winning this. I guess they could have multiple things, right? They have to have like bounce spell plus they have to have like, two bounce spells plus it's deny. For you. They stun that, and so then I troll gifts here. So they're still looking at lethal. So now they have to do something else, and then I ride a negation to <laughs> counter both both cards because ride a negation counters everything. That'll do. I wonder if people expect to be losing to Trundle Braum. Um, Targon is not the only region with silence. Demacia has some silence as well. No. Trundle Lissandra. Alright, so this is this is our bad matchup. We talked about this before, um, whenever I played this deck last time, is that I like this deck against kind of everything except for except for this matchup, because we we can't stop their combo. Like I can't stop Watcher at all. Um, so this is, you know, like every every deck has like a bad matchup. This is it for us. Um, that's just kind of how it is, right? Like we're a, more of like a board control, slower, slower deck. Um, Battle Fury could do something, but you know they usually have their Frostbite. I haven't played against this deck very much. Like with the popular, like with Aurelia Azir so popular they usually do a good job keeping this deck down and so I haven't seen this deck around very much since the new expansion has been out but unfortunately we ran into it here 
So we gotta hope, like, Trundle. Trundle plus Battle Fury. Is this worth... Yeah, I guess it's worth playing. Yeah. But now they could be doing, like, their avalanches and stuff. Okay, I'll take that trade. Oh yeah, Ionia has some silence, that's right. They have the um, Lulu's Champion spell, which can do some silence in. My troll bigger. <laughs> Alright, they sacrificed their troll. <clears throat> hey, Nether Soul. Whimsy, that's the card. So, our, our best hope is like maybe they don't just have like Lissandra and you know, like they don't have their combo. That's really our best and only hope. Maybe no combo for them. I was hoping they were going to play Lissandra right here, and I'd have Siphoning Strike for it. Attacking doesn't really accomplish anything. <laughs> Get trundled to 17 attack and then Siphoning Strike Watcher. Again, this so if this quicksand was ice shard, right? I could have ice shard it and like got rid of these blockers at least, right? Like make them play other stuff. Like, safeguard our home. I think we're using this troll chant just to give a permanent plus one plus one buff to the top thing in our deck, hoping that that top thing is like another trundle. Come on, come on. No. Last breath's not a keyword as far as quicksand goes. playing another Braum deck. They mashed up the Braum decks together. So they're going to be a Poro deck. I think this all makes sense to keep. Ishar can kill some like Poros right away. I don't need to keep Tavern Keeper. Hey Goomba. Happy Saturday. Zillion Poros could be fun to play. Ooh. Quick attack. Good. I'm glad it's not elusive. <laughs> oh, fluff everywhere. What will you have? All right, let's go, Brom. How can Brom tell the one about your door again? What could be better? Pause for thought. Uh. Take this outside. We should be friends. On oh, yep, scary. I could have troll gifts and dealt two damage to it, then try to kill it with ice shard, but at that point, you know, like might as well just Yeah, you know, I don't know, I just felt like I might as well just do this. It is easy, see? Well, 
Because you never know if Ice Shard's going to actually work or not. As long as they're generic 3-3s, three I'm perfectly fine with that, as long as they're not elusive. Quite right, quite right. right, it's the elusives that I'd have to worry about. Because it's just generic old 3-3s, three I'm not too worried about. Yeah, I think these are all just fine attacks. Yeah. I don't know. They have to like re they have to replace things anyway. I guess I don't actually have to play that. This is where we could rather have quicksand if they do have the elusive. Yeah, we'd buff the next unit by playing the ice shard, but we can wait. It's gonna be interesting. This could I could see this playing out either way. I could see us winning this or losing this. I don't know what they're gonna have. So that'll be six six tough. I want to play Howling Abyss, but if we play Howling Abyss, we're taking a lot of damage. Or I guess I gotta throw away. If they attack out, I throw away Starlet Seer. That's not so bad. We love if they attack out, we level up Braum. So that's not so bad. Yeah, as far as give it all goes, that's one we can we can survive this give it all. Something cool. Soraka. Regeneration does count as healing as far as drawing cards goes. But thankfully that, that probably means they have no elusives, right? Like how they played that give it all right then probably means they don't have elusives. with these troll chants. So that regenerates, we draw a card. 
Devil! What's up, Devil? <laughs> Gotta dress up for the hawk tie. Thank you so much. Get some hype boats in here. Nine months with that resub. That's not our first sub today, is it? Did I miss a sub earlier? Would you believe nope, that's first sub of the day. All right. And then just pass. Come on in. Good times, good friends. What could be better? What will you have? A bag of your warmest milk, my friend. I think they're setting up for another give it all. Like how they use that other give it all very early, and that kind of makes it seem like they have another give it all in hand. I tell you, this would be a good winter. So I think that would make sense, them having a second give it all. So we can draw an extra card at each round with Soraka if we have this damage. We can draw an extra card with Jinx. We get an extra we create an extra card with Howling Abyss. If only we could go wider. What, they have troll gifts also? Quicksand worth using? Probably not. So these all have regen. Alright. They are 8 8 toughs. Let's go, our friends, the door. Have you met my shield? So they were setting up for another give it all. Strike is gonna be good. Like we need that siphoning strike. <clears throat> What's up, Yasuo? Now it's a party. <laughs> yeah, this is a party. I agree, Jinx. Okay, they attack him, and they're like all the same thing. Oh, they have overwhelm. I'm not sure which of these I should quicksand. Which of any of these I should quicksand. I don't know, Battle Fury just takes up my entire turn. Stars. Rough taking up the whole turn to Battle Fury. find another we'll find another trundle we're drawing a million cards around we don't we don't need to save that trundle they've used two give it all so far yeah because battle fury would just take my whole turn Like, I'd rather play the Siphoning Strike plus Yasuo. Keep growing these. Like, we're going to be able to go wide. We, we just didn't need to save it. <laughs> Triple Siphoning Strike with Howling Abyss. Yes, please. 
Game number five. Ooh. All right, so no Aurelia Azir. So this is going to be a Nexus burn damage deck, which, you know, as you as you have seen, our deck is kind of slow. So if they have, you know, like a, like a Teemo Elusive, could be a problem. I do have the attack token on turn four. Um, so we're going to be able to put this Troll Gifts on the Braum and challenge on turn four, but a Teemo Elusive would be able to attack twice. So no turn one Teemo. Just play like a nothing. No, not Teemo. That, I think that was the card they just drew, too. Hmm. Anything else like a you know like regular unit on the ground we could block with just the elusive. Wow. I they just have to have another team up, but still I love that. There's nothing to fear. So only healing for one, but you know, we get to block the Elise. Let's talk about your so it's like we healed that damage. <laughs> Man, they're good at drawing champions. Do, do they have a card in their deck that's not a champion? Maybe their deck's just fit, like 20 Elise, 20 Teemo. I guess it could just be that. Troll Gifts is so good with Braum. Man, that is good. Get the 2 7. Gotta hope that they can't burn my Nexus down from 17 before we can kill them. Because, yeah, as I was gonna say, we have <laughs> we have the defense for the block. Yo, we got blockers for days. It's just, can they burn me out? And that answer is no. Man, this, this deck is so much fun to play. All right, so there we go. That was Trundle Braum. It's still a ton of fun. Like I said, we made this right before the new expansion. Wanted to try it out against Aurelia Zir with... Uh, that deck being all the rage right now, but of course, whenever you just go play games over in ranked, you don't get to choose what you're playing against. Sometimes you play against some really random ones, like we saw we played against Poros and that other burn deck there. Um, played against some random decks here, but man, this deck is so much fun to play. Um, got four and one. Not a bad record. We did get paired against the Watcher deck. That's the one deck that I think is going to be a really, really bad matchup. But against everything else, like I feel pretty good with this deck. Um, Ice Shard was awesome. But then there's times like that last, like that game against the Poros where we wanted, where we would have wanted quicksand. So I don't know if I'm quite ready just to go to, tr just to switch over to two ice shards and zero quicksands yet. But that's something to k still keep an eye out on. If ice shard keeps overperforming and you keep on playing against Aurelia Azir and decks like that, like where you really want that one damage to everything, you know, feel free to take out the avalanche for that ice shard. Um, you know, feel free to do that. So that's that's something to keep on watching. Um, I think I like the just the versatility of having one copy of Three Sisters, so I wouldn't recommend taking out that, but Quicksand could go, because you have like your Flash Freezes as well. Um, but yeah, this deck's just a ton of fun to play. Siphoning Strike's so much fun. Howling Abyss, getting you that little bit of randomness with those level 2 champions that uh, can put a smile on your face. And we got Battle Furies, which are fun. Like, this is just a, a really cool deck to play. Um, you know, great top end and everything. Um... Yeah, I, <laughs> I I really like this deck. So this is a deck that like I could just sit here and play all day, <laughs> and I would you know I'd be very happy playing this deck all day. But we got other decks to get to. Let's keep exploring Legends of Runeterra. Let's make some more content for y'all. Uh, but for for now, uh, that's gonna be it here for this deck. Those of y'all on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. Hopefully y'all really enjoyed this deck as well. And uh, feel free to you know let me know in the comment section if you try it out yourself. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you if you do try it and if you play against Aurelia Zir, let me know how it goes because we didn't get to play against Aurelia Zir. I'm sorry about that. That's how you know we don't get to choose what we play against. So if you do play against Aurelia Zir, let me know how this deck does against it. But I'll I'll keep playing it. Um and and like if 
I'm playing off stream. I'm probably playing this deck. <laughs> so I'll probably play this one off stream today just because it was a lot of fun. Um, I should do a rank up day only playing this deck. Dude, I would, <laughs> I would enjoy that, but I don't know if people on YouTube want four straight videos of the same deck. But All right, anyway, that's going to be it here for Trundle Brom. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.